We can talk. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys, welcome back. So today I am back in the box. What we're doing today is I'm gonna show you guys, as I mentioned before in my other video, the mobility drills I go through. It's quite a long list. So what I'm gonna do, just like I've done with my abs video and arms video, I'm gonna explain to you every single one or just take you through every single one in the video as a demo. But I learned all these from just a lot of research and you know, YouTube as well. So it would be good to give you guys, let you, give you guys an idea of a lot of the different type of mobility I go through before a session. Hope you find it useful. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so the first exercise we're gonna start with is skipping. This is just a wake, I usually do this to kind of wake me up, wake up my body from head to toe so I mean you can use the rowing your gym you can use um, the ski yog if you have one but try and use a machine or equipment I use the skipping rope because it literally does everything arms core legs um, do about two to three minutes I'm doing double unders on on this but you can do singles if you can't do double unders just two to three minutes of skipping Will, will really do the trick of just warming you up so now we've got the squats body weight squats I usually aim for about I would say 20 reps just a normal squat nothing special but this is the aim of this is just again to warm up your legs um, we're just trying to really really get warmed up before a session and for me air squats is one of them Okay, next one guys, we're going to warm up our ankles, so on my toes, holding on to something and just kind of resting on your toes, but at the same time moving around, so up and down, side to side, because we're doing a lot of explosive movements, you want to really warm, the, the, warm up your feet and your ankles, and these are the best, this is one of the movements I usually do. And again, this next movement is a strange one, but it really helps stretch out my hamstrings. And if you go on your toes slightly when you do this movement, lean back on your toes, put one leg rested on your calves and pull down. But the legs that's underneath that should be trying to resist you pulling it down. And that will get a really good stretch on your calves and your hamstrings. Again, try and hold it for about 10 seconds. On each static hold, hold it for about 10 seconds each side. Next one is a hip mobility movement. So in a squat position, as you can see in the video, you're gonna try and bring one, twist your knee towards the ground and back up to start position and then do that on both sides. So again, aim for 20 reps each so alternate and then if you are feeling that this move is quite comfortable and then as you can see you want to from bring your knees down to the floor go into a lunge position facing the opposite side so as you can see in the video so you come down bring one knee down and then you come up onto that knee facing the opposite position and back into the original start position so this one is quite tricky to to get right at first so practice it quite a few times you can hold on to a bar if that helps to get the movement right and then once you get really comfortable doing these then start going into a lunge position after you've brought your knees down and then back to the original position So next we have wrist mobility and fingers, warming up the fingers, warming up your wrist. I know this is a very strange one and it looks really strange, but again, it's really effective just to warm up your wrist because remember with any lifting, you we are using our hands most of the time. So especially with Olympic lifting or if you're doing push, push press or any push or overhead pressing, bench pressing, warm up your wrist because just like every other body part it needs to be warmed up as well and I find this movement really helps 
Okay, so interlock your fingers together and try and pull each arm nice and gently. The next one you straighten your arms out and then pull your hands back. So I would say about 10 seconds doing these. And again with the static hold, hold for about 10 seconds. Next we have more wrist mobility on the floor. So we're going to start with our hands facing outwards and just rock side to side back and forth as you can see what I'm doing in the video. Again it's just to warm up your wrist, really loosening them up and to make it slightly more difficult I go onto my toes. Now you have to be careful with this one because it is slightly difficult and again rock side to side back and forth. This would really warm up your shoulders as well as well as your wrist when you're on your toes. Again about 10-15 seconds and then we move on to the next stage where you put your hands facing backwards again be very careful with this one placing them in front of you and then what you're going to do is nice and slowly sit back down hold it about three to four seconds come back up and repeat again next we are going to be on the floor trying to get some hip mobility as well using a resistant band so get a resistant band here I'm using quite a strong re resistant band but you, you can use any level you want but make sure that is there is enough resistant for when you bring your legs down to make it harder you can pull the bands bring it up more towards your chest to make it slightly harder for you to bring your legs down this is very good for uh, opening up your hips loosening up the hips and then you're going to go up and down for about 10 reps and as you can see I brought my knees up so you can either have your legs down the opposite leg that you're not using you can keep that down or bring your knees up to make it easier and then you're going to do about 10 to 12 reps on the side as well and repeat that same movement on the other leg so the next movement is for our lower back and again the hamstrings it's pretty simple and pretty basic so start with your legs open touch the floor raise your legs all the way up and over and you really want to come up onto the top of your back where your legs are far behind you um, if you can touch the floor with your feet when you bring it back that's even better but the more you keep rocking back and forth, the more you loosen up and you can actually bring your feet even more closer to the ground. What I like to do is towards the end, take it nice and slow and reach as far back as I can and try and hold it. Be careful with this move. You can put your hands, you can put the, your hand, sorry, on your glutes to hold you in that position if you need to, but just be very careful. This is pretty simple with a broomstick going all the way back behind you, bringing your arms back down towards your glutes and bringing it over your head and in front of you. Now be very careful with this movement, take it nice and slow. I like to use the hook grip and if some of you don't know what the hook grip is, try and YouTube what a hook grip is because that's the move, the, the way we're going to be gripping the bar when we do certain movements, especially with Olympic lifting, but I try and do a hook grip. And then as you can see in the video, I also try and bring my grip a little bit closer in. So I start with the wide grip and then I try and bring my grip in closer and go over and then bringing it closer again. Now, if you are like me, you have long arms, it gets very hard to do as you get your grip gets closer. So again, be careful. Do not rush this movement because you can injure yourself if you bring your arms too close and you go too fast so take it nice and slow about 20 reps I will do on these all the way back and all the way forward and in the next movement we're gonna bring our legs as wide as we can toes pointing outwards and then we're gonna lean onto one side and squat down come back up to the middle 
lean onto the other side, come back up again. This is just to warm up our, our legs, our glutes, our hamstrings, quads. And then the second stage is taking the broomstick over your head, holding it over your head, um, almost into a overhead squat position and repeat the movement. Now it gets a little bit harder when you hold the bar, the broomstick over your head. This is one movement that you have to take nice and slow and don't rush it. And 20 reps, alternate each side. Next, we are gonna do a walk-in lunge with a side twist. So this is gonna be working your, your hamstrings, glutes, and your obliques in this movement and your core because you're gonna need your core to stabilize you as you do your side bend onto that lunge so you lunge with your right foot forward lunge down and then you do a side bend onto your right side you come up and you repeat on the opposite side as it shows in the video so we'll do about 15 to 20 steps on this Next, we're using the resistant band to really stretch the lats. And as you can see in the video, um, leaning forward, make sure you move as far back as you can. Make sure there is quite a bit of a resistance with the band. Lean forward, you should really feel the stretch. And then what I like to do is face the opposite side. So face left whilst leaning forward and then face right again whilst leaning forward and come back up and last but not least we're going to try and stretch our lats in a slightly higher position these are great for the front rack position so if you're doing uh, clean squat cleans power cleans overhead pressing shoulder pressing they are great and again make sure you're facing opposite side so face front and then you twist to the side really lean into that resistant band and get the full stretch you should really feel the stretch on this one it might feel a little bit uncomfortable as well but that just might mean that you are quite tight on your lats so spend some time on this one 10 to 15 seconds on each side so guys i hope you found the video useful um with all this mobility drill, what I do is I do every single one of them before an Olympic lifting, so if I'm doing weightlifting. However, even if you're just weight training in the gym, if you're doing an upper body, you can just do the upper body part of the warm up and the mobility. And then if you're doing legs, you can do the lower half. But to be honest, when I do legs, I do the full stretch. So it probably takes me about 20 minutes. And I find that if you want to be more flexible, if you want to lift more, if you want to avoid injuries, always, always have some sort of mobility drill before your session and ideally after. There are basic mobility drills which I am going to do another video of um, where you can do that every single day. It doesn't matter if you're training or if you're not training. But for today, these drills are for a lot of compound movements and if you're weightlifting or even if you're weight training, deadlifts, squats, they're very useful. So. Any questions about any of them, let me know. If anything you, you anything I've left out that you feel you want to know more, leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And catch you all later. Peace out.